Usually when you shoot drone hyperlapses in the bright daytime, it's very common to get the hyperlapses looking very jarring as everything in the frame looks very clear and there's no motion blur at all. This causes the hyperlapse to look very jerky and less smooth, like the footage that you are watching right now. However, you must be wondering, how do you add motion blur to your drone footage when it's super bright outside? Well, you will need an ND filter. So what is an ND filter for those of you who don't really already know what an ND filter is? Well, ND filters are pretty much like sunglasses for your camera. It's just a filter that can be either put on or screwed on to reduce the amount of light that actually enters the camera sensor, thus allowing you to be able to shoot slow shutter speeds even during bright daylight. However, for hyperlapses with shutter speeds of one second or more, you would need to use a special kind of ND filter. To get these sort of smooth looking hyperlapses during bright daylight, you would need an ND filter of at least 1000. So the next time you do try hyperlapses during the bright daylight, do get yourself an ND1000 to help smooth out those hyperlapses and add that motion blur to make your hyperlapses look just a little bit better. Also besides hyperlapses, you can also use this filter to shoot long exposure during the bright daylight. Anyway, I hope you did find this tip helpful and useful. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. By the way, if you do feel like supporting this channel by making a small contribution, I did leave a link to buy me a coffee in the description down below. Also, I left links to all the gears that I use to make these videos in the description down below. Right then, I guess that's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.